Hey guys, Arco Ember again. Um, here we are, uh, ready to continue sector two of our Mantis A run. Um, I'm just at the end of the first sector here, um, and I'm going to jump out into sector two. Ah, pirate controlled. Let's have some of that. Now, um, yeah, it's freezing. I'm sorry, I'm eating a muffin and drinking a cup of tea because it's absolutely bloody freezing. Anyone who says Australia is warm the whole time is lying because it's winter here now. This house has no heating. Um, and it absolutely sucks. I've never been colder, and I used to live in Scotland. So anyway, here we go. Um, sector 2. I haven't done particularly well in the first sector. You can see my hull has taken an absolute beating. Um, uh, and I managed to get my second level of shields, which is always handy. But nothing amazing has happened. Um, had a couple of bad fights. Right, so let's go. We're going to do this nebula. I hope it's not an auto scout, which it will be. Oh no, there we go. Station to look for us, eh? So he's got a clone bay. And. Anti. Anti uh, drone. Drone doesn't really matter to us much, so we'll get our borders in there. And we'll hit. That. Now you can see he can only fire one laser round at me. So I might as well charge my basic laser as well and power down that second layer of shields because I'm not going to need it for anything. And I hope he hasn't got an anti-personnel drone like every uh, ship in the first sector I met had. Come on, small bomb. Let's get busy. Boom, great. Okay, so now I've done that, I'm going to get in here. And... Let's do the switch. There we go. Dead. Dead. <coughs> dead. All people dead. Excellent. Wasn't too bad. I don't think I even took any damage there, did I? Good. I get a bit closed-minded uh, when I'm boarding. I end up just looking at the ship and, and forgetting to actually manage my own ship is a pretty bad habit, you should always try and keep an eye on your own ship. Notice things like if you're running out of oxygen or if you're badly on fire. <sighs> I'm not joking, I'm dying of cold here. I have to wrap my hands around the um, cup of tea just to keep them working. Uh, so there we go, that's that. I'm ready for the next. So the reason I jumped to this one is because it reveals all these and I wanted to try and find a store quickly that's also the reason I didn't spend that 50 scrap before the end of last sector because I knew that I needed repairs quite badly so rather than spend all my scrap and not have enough to repair and maybe buy something I thought I'd um, keep my scrap so this is the first time I've managed to visit a store so I'm going to get rid of my mantis pheromones because they're really not that helpful and I'm just going to repair up to like I'll give it 24 um, and leave myself with 90 scrap. Uh, and do I really want any of these? There's a burst laser that fires two shots. I don't really want to spend money on that. Not for 50. Um, iron stunners are actually quite handy. Uh, there's a stun bomb as well, which is interesting. Because it does stun people for 15 seconds and it does let you um, beat on them with your crew. But I'm not going to buy any of that. And the reason I'm not going to buy anything else for now is because I've fallen behind a little bit really in my ship upgrades. Um, you know, and this, this is the stuff that keeps you alive ultimately. Uh, I'm going to buy a second round for my teleporter now as well. Uh, so there we go. I can power most of that stuff up. And... Uh, my ship's just that little bit more robust. So let's plan this route. Where can we get to this thing? Again, like I say, normally it's a good idea to jump through some nebula to slow down the Rebel fleet advance, get you another jump or two, which adds up over a run. But I'm not really in a position to deal with nebulas in this ship until I get some decent weapons. A hot, hot sun! and an enemy with no medbay. 
Bad move, brother, bad move. So I'm going to go straight into um, piloting. Uh, now, do I vent my ship or not? I'm not going to vent my ship because um, it can cause real problems if your doors get set on fire in this sun. He can't damage me at all. Um, he's got one laser shot there and, and a beam. So with my two shields, he cannot do any damage. Um, I just have to worry about getting set on fire. I haven't quite worked out how the um, suns actually do damage. Ooh, you've got a mantis. Um, Alright, let's get them out of here. I'm just stepping through that pause button to try and make sure that I'm doing the right thing. Um, I haven't quite worked out how the suns do damage. Sometimes they just seem to, you'll see when it flares, you'll just see one point of damage uh, come for no reason. Um, it's not that it's damaged the system and taken that down to zero, it is just randomly damaged. Uh, and sometimes it doesn't do that, sometimes you don't get a point of damage. Um, so there doesn't seem to be a lot of rhyme or reason to that really. I'm just listening, oh, you can see his shields are actually on fire. I'm just listening here to um, see if I can hear any... Um, there we go. Let's not fight you in the fire. Oh, that is an absolutely massive bonus. Excellent. Just trying to keep an ear out. Oh, come on. I should have really put them on two bars of power. Right, I can hear burning. So what is burning? Let's get them back. Problem is his ship's burning as well, so I could hear that. This ship seems to be really bad for this little room here going on fire for some reason. It's always worth checking it out. And my system's at, ah, that's on fire. There we go, that's really quite badly on fire. I guess we'll just vent that out. Switch O2 off for a moment. And I'm going to jump out and just let this burn out for a little bit. Okay, I think that is nothing else on fire, so let's jump out. And um, hopefully I've vented that one fire enough. Greetings continue. No, we're not going to pay because we haven't even got the cash to do it. Once again, he has no... No way of hurting me. He's got two heavy lasers there. I've got two shields. And that's why you need those two shields really early. Okay, so they're all healed up. Uh, yeah. uh, do, do, do. All right, let me just think about strategy here. Can't really, because I don't know who's on there. Uh, if I get a slug, I'm going to buy him. <laughs> if I find a slug anyway, because uh, that negates the whole need for sensors. Right. I don't think it makes a whole deal of difference really. I'm going to jump into piloting because I know there'll be someone in piloting. And it's a rock and I bet there's a mantis coming as well. No, oh, no. Uh, did I put two bars on that? I did this time. That was clever. Right. Um, just train up my pilot a bit. Yeah, if I get a slug, I'll put him in piloting and uh, then I'll actually have some idea what um, species I've got on the enemy ship, which is always nice to know. I think my and it's another mantis. They're big with their mantises at the minute. Aren't they? Let's try and do as much damage as possible and pick our guys back up. There we go. Get them healed up and send them back in. Yeah, slugs are really handy for that reason. They basically negate the need for sensors. You used to just get this little dot, which wasn't very useful, but now you actually get a a sort of uh, a red depiction of which race it is that is uh, in the ship and how many of them there are. The only thing you don't know from not seeing the ship is whether they've got uh, anti-personnel drones or not. But you can work around that normally. Meh, that'll do. Um, pirate sectors are good for this. Pirate sectors have slavers and they tend to have prisoners in ships and things like that. So it is really handy to have 
uh, to go into pirate sectors early in the uh, early in the run because you, you'll pick up crew uh, and uh, you need them. He's training up and piloting. Ideally, I wouldn't have a mantis in piloting, but that's all I've got at the minute. I'm definitely not going to put Ohm in there. So there we go. Let's continue our journey. Not getting much scrap here, though. Okay, so we're going to get boarded here. Again, you can't damage me because I've got my two shields up. Um, he's looking like he's going to go for Ohm. Oh no, he's going for my shields. And it's a mantis. What does he have? He's got a med bay, but he hasn't got a clone base, so as long as I can kill this dude before he teleports back up. Um, there we go, I've reduced my liability by one when I go boarding now. I've got my small bomb up and ready. I've only got nine bombs left, which isn't ideal, but we can make do. Um, I'm going to try and get my weapon systems up now, because with small bomb basic laser and hull beam, I've actually got a decent shot against quite a few ships for the next couple of sectors. Um, but like I said, I need to earn some scrap first. Everybody healthy? Good. Alright, let's bomb the med bay and occupy it. There we go. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is actually just switch these guys out, and the reason I'm doing that is because Arthur is taking damage too quickly. Um, it looks like this Mantis actually has double uh, two bars training, because Ar Arthur is only one bar, uh, and, and he, was, he wasn't he was damaging the uh, that enemy Mantis quick enough. There you go, you see? Another prisoner. Excellent. And he can be my pilot. Um, he hasn't got any training originally, but... Um, yeah, so in lieu of a slug coming along, I'm going to use him. Because humans are pretty useless at most things, really. Um, right, reset the ship, get everything ready. So really, I need these guys to skill up uh, and get me some bonus. They're worth, well, 10% between them. Uh, for piloting, you can see. Click on here. Uh, yeah, manned evasion plus five and, and plus five on the engines as well, so that's plus ten. But with, you can give them another plus five each for a bit of training, and uh, and then you start you're laughing. Oh, ions. Okay, so what's going to happen here? Okay, I'm probably going to take a missile hit or two. I need to bomb a med bay. Put these punters in here and see how it goes. Oh, okay, well that's good because he's going to fight on his own for a little while. It looks like a rock's coming because these doors are open slow opening slowly. Oh, yeah, there you go. And his rock comes in. Oh, that's not too bad. That shield die. Great. Kill him. He's dead. So, is there anything I can do about these? Uh, Incoming heavy lasers and missiles. Mm, no, what I should have done is shot that early. Oh my god, this has gone horribly wrong. Right. You get out of there. I'm going to vent that because he's just going to take loads of damage otherwise. Uh, that's going to remain powered down and we'll power up our. Hmm, now that is charging and it should hopefully charge and go by the time. There we go, I've presented myself taking any more damage there, even though I'm probably going to lose my weapon system. Okay, there we go. Fuel scrap, excellent. Jesus. These pulsars are a nightmare. Because um, they just take your shields down, they, they work like iron weapons and just take your shields down completely. Uh, before they start hitting other systems. So you're basically going to be fighting shieldless whenever you get in one of these. Um, and then... Oh, great. Let's power the O2 up, people. Let's be sensible about this. Um, 
and then the, the other problem with that is uh, you just take damage across the board from any any kind of weapons. You really have to prioritise doing weapon damage to the enemy to stop yourself taking damage. Um, some people dislike the fire, the, the close to sun beacons. I really hate these because it just seems you always end up taking more damage than you uh, would want to. Right, let's get a hull repaired, and then you just have to sit here and wait for your whole. Um, now I've got a three count on my shields now that I just have to sit and wait for to end before I jump out because otherwise it doesn't otherwise it's still there when you're jumping into the next fight which is never great one right, I'm gonna jump now and hopefully my shields will come back up power these up um yeah so let's have a look at ideal this really because I'm gonna jump there and there so Yeah, I'm going to try and sort of zigzag like this and, and get as many jumps in as possible, but go to this beacon now. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, well, you didn't want to try and board this ship, that was a mistake. Hang tough there, Ford. Backup's coming. So I'm just using uh, my NG as a kind of little damage buffer there. Here we go. Oh, a bit of free training. Nice. Uh, I'll send them up there as well. All right. Let's see how long we've got before this sun goes off. Yeah, so the, there's nothing wrong with using NGs in fights. Um, you can just use them to soak up some damage while something better kills them. But uh, it kills the enemy. You don't normally want to do it, but... They don't feel pain, so it's okay. Send them in. Let somebody beat on their skull. Okay, so he's got an ion and a burst laser. That's great, but he has no um, med bay. Arthur, you go in there. Zephon's doing all right as well. Is Arthur fully healed yet? Zephon is now. Um, get that. No. Sorry, I'm just ordering all my power and stuff here. Uh, yeah. Ah, got time wrong. Uh, I've only got six bombs, don't really want to do that. Right, let's get up here. Took two hits from that burst laser. people back at their positions. Right, do the switch. Oh, come on. Okay, that's better. Yay! Oh, of course, yeah, two more damage for no good reason. Let's stop that, let's get this repaired. Yeah, they always get those last shots off. <laughs> Perhaps if I was a bit quicker at boarding, um, they wouldn't do it and I wouldn't take so much damage. But what are you going to do, eh? Get him in there, get that repairing. Is my O2 still off? Excellent. <sighs> T. Foundations of Empires, T. Can't get enough of it. Body repaired. Ship still roughly in one piece. You can see I'm sucking up a bit of damage here. That's not ideal. I've got 90 scrap though, so let's... Um, oh, I can't because I'm in danger. I'll think about upgrading my weapons shortly, I think. Got a clone bay. Um... Oh, 
He's dying quite quickly, isn't he? Oh dear, that fight didn't go well for him. Poor bloke. Let's get the small bomb in there. Oh, don't miss. Enemy centre fairly... Yeah, you can bomb that room again. Keep doing that. Enemy sent up pretty low dodge around about this time. That's interesting. Oh no, there we go. Yeah. For some reason, um, when enemy ships have a clone bay, it takes just slightly longer to check that there's nothing, nothing alive on the ship. Uh, so quite often I end up thinking, ooh, I haven't killed everyone. But I have. Yeah, it takes just a smidge in longer for it to check. And normally it's like the instant the last person dies if they have a med bay. So, so if all Arthur are all trained up. Ford isn't trained up in killing, so I think I might put Zayford in shields for a bit and give Ford a run fighting. The problem when you've got mismatched borders is that um, Arthur will continue to get all the kills and Ford won't actually train up that quickly, um, unless I manage it so that he does. So we've got distress, we've got that, okay let's do this. One, two, I haven't got two jumps before that though and I've got to go through that. I don't know, because I could do one, two, three, one, two, hmm. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna go this way and use three normal beacons because the nebula still has chances of an auto scout and I'm I'm not too uh, I'm not loving that. Distress beacons and ambush. Cheeky swords. Slugs are like that, don't trust them. Uh Right yeah, I'm gonna do this, but I'll um I'll keep Zayford nearby because I'm gonna send him in there shortly. Okay, so is Arthur my good fighter or my bad one? He's a good fighter, yeah, okay, so we'll leave that there. Get him in here and uh, teleport him in in a bit. Oh, that was lucky. Right, managed not to take any damage there. Right, there is a third person. So, let's get... Oh, it's not going to be pretty. Poor NG. Now one damage. Okay, we'll just get everyone back. Wasn't so bad, was it? <sighs> Yum. I just haven't finished this muffin. Fantastic muffin, it's got berries in it. My wife makes them, they're lovely. Back to positions. Is that. Who's that? Yeah, that's Zephyr running off in there. So I've got 150, I'm just going to check there's not a store right here somewhere. Hmm. I think about beefing my ship up really, so it costs 100 for shields. I'm going to buy the cheap weapon slots first. Um, what else do I want? Uh, I'm actually going to upgrade... Nothing. I'm going to keep 40 scrap aside for now. Just in case there is a store. Because um, I don't really want to sell any of the things I've got right now. Ooh, mind control. Ooh, auto scout. Excellent. That was a well-timed uh, weapon upgrade, wasn't it? Who's gone nuts? Uh, him. Oh, uh, right, okay. Put them over there. Let everything charge up. Oh, that's one bit of luck. So I'm letting him damage down to a, a tiny smidgen of uh, that bar. I'm not going to waste a bomb here, actually. I'm going to see if this... Uh, this yeah, wait for my hull beam to actually... Uh, lucky, right. There we go. I've probably left that too long. He's gonna. <laughs> yeah, I left that too long. It's classic. I was trying to just make, give it as much time as possible before murdering him. Um, and I'm going to really hope that he doesn't actually. There we go. All right. Hull beam. Have it. Oh, weapon still up. Oh well. No, that's pretty handy, isn't it? Well, not really, but stuff anyway. Um, yeah, they always have to get that last missile off for some reason. I, I, I luckily missed that one, but they always fire that last missile. They just a little screw you at the end of the fight. Um, it's very frustrating. 
Yeah, sorry, what I was trying to do there was basically let him damage it almost to, to the point of damage, then send the guy into fight. Just buy myself time, basically, and stopping them injuring each other too much. Um, mind control's a, a good system, I think people underrate it. Uh, you can use it offensively and defensively. Um, the run, I did a sort of practice run with this ship uh, before recording, and I used mind control on, on this ship. Um, and because when you're obviously boarding, you've got sight of the enemy, you can use it even though you haven't got sensors. And it's pretty effective. It's, um, it's quite, a nice little, uh, quite a nice little system to have, really, when you're boarding. Because um, it just gives you a massive swing um, in the number of people on the ship. All right, so we could buy a slave, or we could release some slaves. I'm going to try and do that. There we go. So we've got ourselves a NG, which is excellent. Actually, NG is going to go in the doors there. They've got a missile system, which isn't excellent. Oh, and they're probably going to board us, actually. So. There we go. Sounds like it's a rock border. So let's see if we can kill this rock. Bomb. Uh, well, I'm not going to bomb that just yet. I'll wait for him to die. Miss. Ah, oh, well, it's only one. Don't run off. Actually, I don't really mind if he does run off with a clone bay because he won't go and heal. Another one. Missile systems suck for you as a player, but for the enemy they're really good because they can just throw them at you like confetti. Um, they don't have to worry about running out. Um, right, let's cause them some problems. What have we got here? One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He's, so he's got ten. I'm about to do him one more, so that's nine left. One, two, three. Okay, so I don't want to put that room in there. I just want to cause him. Hang on. What's the best strategy here? Okay, I'm going to wait and see if that basic laser actually takes that out. No, it doesn't. Go. Oh, did I just hear someone clone? I think I did, didn't I? <laughs> okay, spot the errors. So I've let the guy reclone. I've teleported in some random numpty into a room that is damaged. Uh, teleported one guy in when I wanted to teleport in two. Okay. Which was stupid. I haven't damaged weapons when I should have done because he's just going to keep hitting me with those one hit missiles. Right then I should have uh, teleported two guys in and I only teleported one. So this is how you screw up boarding. There we go, that didn't go particularly well did it? I took more damage than I had to there. At least no one died. I think I can hear a fire somewhere. There, there we go. Mantis are handy to check for fires because they move quickly, but they're no good um, fighting them because they suck. I'll cover that in part one, I think. Mantises are bad at repairing, they're also bad at firefighting. Everyone healed up, and on we go. Yeah, so that wasn't particularly well. wasn't a particularly well managed fight. Um, should have prioritised. Uh, weapons damage really, or just boarded him quicker. I probably because there were only actually two. There was a uh, one Zoltan and one Rock on that uh, on that ship, which isn't a very powerful uh, complement of crew. So had I just boarded it straight away, let my crew on my ship deal with the Rock, whilst um, uh, whilst uh, the crew just killed the. Uh, the Zoltan, uh, I would have had a much quicker fight there and taken less damage. So once again, I'm leaving a sector with um, all of eight hull. <laughs> um, got, I'm pretty happy with my weapons load out there. 
ship's being upgraded steadily. Uh, I've got a hull beam, which is a good weapon and some way to deal with shields, so I'm, I'm not completely helpless here. And uh, I've acquired a few more crew members as well going through that pirate sector, which is why I chose it. So um, there we go, we're, we're doing all right. Um, again, I'm going to have to go and find a store and get some repairs or rely on a bit of luck. But we'll see how that goes, and uh, I hope you catch up with me later for uh, part three of this, and we'll, we'll uh, play some FTL fairly well. Fairly well? Middling. Fair to middling, I'd say, at the minute. Alright, cheers then.